Detroit. Detroit, known as the city that put the world on wheels. It is a task much improved thanks to industrial robots. Detroit, also known as the city leading the way treating patients using surgical robots. The Vatikuti Foundation is working to make a difference and is helping to revolutionize robotic medicine. Meet Dr. David Mason from Marietta, Georgia. David is in Detroit to have prostate surgery. I'm a physician and I've been uh, interested in prostate cancer for years and when I ended up having an issue myself, Dr. Menden's name popped up. He not only was a pioneer, but his team has the best track record of anybody uh, in the world, really. I would think he's the world innovator. A few years ago, prostate surgery was very serious. It was quite painful and often required several blood transfusions. There was a long recovery time. Today, at the Henry Ford Hospitals in Detroit and West Bloomfield, Michigan, robotic surgery has become routine. Atlanta. Dr. Mason, now himself a patient, has put his trust in the Vaticuti Urology Institute team and is assured a much safer, less painful procedure. Their target was cardiac surgery and the robot was designed to, to, for cardiac surgery. It had been around for three years and it hadn't gone anywhere. They could do it but there was no benefit and there were lots of downside risks. We shot at the heart and hit the prostate. <laughs> you know? I think what made us successful is determination and really being scared. I mean, we didn't want to do anything that would hurt the patients. The patients have accepted that this is the way of the future. Dr. Mani Menon is the director of the Vatikuti Urology Institute. Time Magazine has recognized him as a founding father in the field of robotic surgery. He and the VUI trainees across the globe have treated 10,000 patients. Within five years, 80% of people who undergo robotic surgery have undergone robotic surgery from techniques that, that we developed. The foundation helps share knowledge worldwide. Our friendship with uh, Dr. Mani Menon and uh, Mr. Mahindra Bhandari, we thought that maybe we should do a joint effort to establish the usage of robotic surgery for the benefit of the patients across the country. And that's how Medanta Vatikuti Foundation came into being. We like our trainees to, to get at least 25 or 30 cases working on the console before they're able to start doing the cases uh, more independently. Making a difference through education, the Vatikuti Urology Institute originated the first ever conference on robotic surgery, IRIS, in 2002. When I went to India and saw the Medanta Hospital and I saw the Da Vinci SI and I saw all the, you know, the kind of the history that went on to, to getting there, I think it's a very noble uh, type of uh, endeavor uh, that the foundation is involved with. And now with the robotics, uh, this allows us to treat patients in a variety of different ways and as well as medical management in some of these patients who may not be candidates for either surgical or endovascular procedures. The dexterity that robot offers is very good. I think that is what uh, will help us uh, to do a better surgical procedure when we compare it with laparoscopic or even with open surgery. Training the residents, training the next generation, training our colleagues to adopt this, um, in which we're trying to get our entire specialty into the forefront of minimally invasive surgery and to make um, to make the open surgery as infrequent as possible. The foundation also provides networking, matching those with questions to those with answers. People have been able to get the proper training. That what Vatikuti Foundation has helped us significantly is now there are experts in various fields. And you, you have a procedure in mind, they have a name in mind, which is the master of the procedure in the world and they would make arrangements either for that person to come over here or a person who wants to learn to go over there, observe him, work with him, and that has made a real difference. Detroit's Henry Ford Hospital made this TV commercial about one of the VUI's patients. See if you can recognize anyone in it. When your office is on the edge of the world, something like prostate cancer means you're taking a trip. So I found the best 
Henry Ford. The pioneers, teachers, and leaders in robotic prostate surgery. Nobody's done more. Extensive teaching programs are also a hallmark of the VUI. It is the training sought out by the best medical professionals in the world. These recent graduates even sang their praise, just a little bit awkwardly, for Dr. Menon and the VUI. Bye, goodbye to the VUI. Dr. Menon and the trailing both made me cry. But tears and laughter aside, the VUI now has former students practicing robotic surgery not only across the United States, but around the world. This is just part of the legacy of the Vatikuti Foundation. The robot would not have been in existence if the Vatikuti Foundation had not. And that's because Mr. Vatikuti's goal was to touch the lives of people with prostate cancer, and he has. We had a great success uh, in our overall our venture we had and uh, really want to give it back to the community and the way we want to give it back so that we can make the real difference not just donating money but uh, what the most uh, advanced technologies we can help to bring to solve the cancer uh, issue for the men and women. We're using our management techniques and the technologies to provide these last mile services for healthcare, livelihood, education. We have been blessed we really wanted to make a difference in the people. So we wanted some very novel, innovative uh, uh, means of uh, giving it back. Very early on, I had the understanding with Mr. Vatikuti that what we wanted to do was to look after people, not just their prostates. Michigan has some of the highest breast and prostate cancer rates in the country. So Raj and Padma made these high priorities. They gave of their time and wealth to hospitals in the Detroit area to provide the most modern equipment for the best surgeons. With these tools, the VUI team began to pioneer exciting new robotic techniques. The Vatikuti name graces leading hospitals in Metro Detroit, the Vatikuti Urology Institute at Henry Ford Hospital, and the Vatikuti Digital Breast Diagnostic Center at William Beaumont Hospital. Thousands of patients visit each year, all receiving the best treatment found anywhere in the world. Visiting doctors are taught the latest in robotic medicine and then take their new knowledge back to their home hospitals and patients. This formalization uh, through Vetikuti Foundation has really given us a boost. Raj and Padma chose to make a difference overseas at the OLV Institute and Hospital in Olst, Belgium and also in hospitals across India. At the Kim's Vatikuti Robotic Institute, great results for this patient. Thanks. And these doctors. We have done a robotic surgery for him with sphincter preservation and without a colostomy. So that's the beauty of robotic surgery for this patient. The technology we brought along with the Vatikuti Foundation, the Da Vinci machine, we got into Kim's hospital. We are getting the trained surgeons from America and bringing them every month and do a workshop initially by the surgeons of American origin. They perform surgeries. Later on, they will train all our surgeons. This introduction of this uh, robotic arm in collaboration with the Vertiquity Foundation has been uh, very good. Uh, we have a lot of advantages. I feel great to be a part of a uh, robotic surgeons team at uh, Kim's Vertiquity Foundation. Uh, we have been extensively trained in uh, various institutes at USA, uh, not only in the surgeries but also the technical aspect of the Da Vinci ro robotic system. What we're doing in India, there's about 200 million people in India are in poverty. Where the biggest uh, thing we can make the difference is the health care. A world away from Detroit, in Bengaluru, India, Kartik Padari is about to undergo a procedure that was once only available a world away. <laughs> Today, he'll be experiencing cutting-edge robotic surgery close to his home. The Manipal Vatikuti Institute of Robotic Surgery is a beneficiary of the Foundation's global generosity. We are providing subsidized treatment and that is helping a lot of poor patients also to avail this kind of uh, expertise. The Medanta Vatikuti Institute of Robotic Surgery in Gurgaon, India is another of the foundation affiliates in India today. 
the efforts made by the Wet Equity Foundation has been quite uh, successful and I think that over a period of time more and more centers will come online and we shall be able to enhance together the usage of robotics. Vatikuti Institute and Foundation. Dr. Mahendra Bandari is the CEO of the Vatikuti Foundation. For him, these are physical extensions of his leadership in medical robotics. Our ultimate mission that if you see that technology has its own time frame to reach to a common man. It was the vision of Mr. Vatikuti. I don't think anybody would have invested in robotic surgery. I would say truly it is a miracle. Applying the technology and at the same time providing the good care to spread this across the world is the key. And now across the world, this philosophy of care and spreading robotic surgery is exciting doctors. Not only urology, gynecology, thoracic surgery, cardiac surgery, ENT people, everybody is using uh, the robot now. This technology is hardly the last word. I mean, we're in its infancy, and we're going to see technology get um, cheaper, we're going to see it get lighter, we're going to see it become more portable, we're going to see it more integrated in other technologies in the operating room. What was once a science fiction dream, both in the United States and the rest of the world, has become reality. The Vatikuti Foundation has been the catalyst for much of the research and training that is being done. It's been a very great uh, success story. So we had a lot of confidence in uh, Dr. Manon that uh, he will really come through. We have letters that um, the patients have written thanking us and how they're feeling and uh, how wonderful, how wonderful care has been taken of them and overall about the robotic surgery that the recovery period was so short and so successful. I mean there's an element of luck or God's wishes or divine providence. I knew that we have put a program together that takes care of the whole family. One is able to give to these patients is a better procedure and quicker procedure, a safer procedure. We want to create highly skilled manpower across the world of robotic surgeons. They would be the surgeons of future and foundation would act as a conduit. Now back in Georgia, Dr. Mason has returned to his work. At the Manipal Hospital, Kartik Chandra is leaving for home soon. I am robotic surgery. I am a robotic surgeon. 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 Giving back, I feel, is more rewarding than even creating it because it makes so much difference and makes so many people happy. The future begins right now. Funding is expanding to support multi specialty uses for medical robotics. Join with the Vatikuti Foundation now. Together, we will continue working to make a difference by helping to bring medical technology to those in need, wherever they are.